What is going on guys, I over here, welcome back to a brand new video today about F1 2015 and you guys really wanted this video in yesterday's uh, comments so I'm going to do what you guys ask and you guys wanted to know a little bit more about the basically talking to the engineer and how that's going to work and how that might work. Now in terms of what this is going to be available on, a lot of you were quite confused about this in terms of what platforms this uh, feature will be allowed on. So on PS4 this feature talking to your engineer will be on the PS4, it will use your PS4 headset so just like if you want wanted to use voice commands on the PS4, you put your headset on, you plug in the mic or whatever, make sure the mic's working and you say PlayStation and then whatever, PlayStation Home, PlayStation Play this game, it will work like that um, via your headset. Uh, on the P on the Xbox One, it will use the Connect. So like on the Xbox One, when you want to use the voice features, you have to have a Connect, and you say, you know, Xbox, you know, go to here, Xbox dashboard, whatever. It uses the Connect feature um, to do it. The it doesn't use the headset. It only uses the Connect, and that is definitely true because I've seen it multiple times on the Code Masters forums. Uh, Mark, the new community manager, been replying to a few people confirming that it uses the Connect. It's not like it uses the headset like the PS4. It uses the Connect. That's how the Xbox is sort of engineered. It's engineered to use the Connect solely for those voice commands. And that's why you see the Xbox maybe sometimes lagging behind the performance because it's using some kind of performance hit to kind of power the Connect there and power the kind of background happenings. And the background happenings will include this talking to engineer. And then on the PC, it's not available for now. For now, it's not available, which is uh, disappointing to say the least. I mean, you know, also, personally for me, I'll be getting on all three platforms. So to not have it on the PC, which is a little bit annoying because I, I don't know if this feature is going to turn out to be a gimmick or not. I sort of want to say it might actually be just a little bit of like a gimmick of something we maybe use for like a month and then we all drop it. I can't especially see it, see people using it in league races. Um, You know, I just think it will be a bit too much of a distraction. Uh, I think people will just be concentrated far too much on racing and they'll just use their, uh, you know, the buttons to access the menus on the right hand side of the, of the screen to see the tyres and stuff instead of asking about them. Uh, but you never know. Um, um, but if it does turn out to be a gimmick, then it's not too much of a big deal. But if it does turn out to be a major thing, especially career mode for me, if it turns out to be a huge part of the game, then it's going to be very, you know, frustrating not to be able to use it on PC. And, you know, I might be forced to do a career mode or, or just videos in general, um, some other videos where I want to talk to an engineer on a console because it has that feature. So it's a little bit annoying in that sense. Um, the reasoning behind it, I'm not too sure quite yet. I think a part of it is because the way they've engineered it is they've used the console features and the fact that the PS4 has this kind of headset feature, the fact that the Xbox has a, a kind of ecosystem for this connect to kind of pick up your voice, I think they felt the need that, oh, we'll use this kind of way to get around it and maybe use a bit less performance, um, you know, to kind of power other things, and we'll just use that way to kind of power the engineering, talking to the engineer. And on PC, well, I don't know. I guess they just never, you know, really thought about designing it straight off the bat. But I do have some hope that maybe for you guys on PC, that maybe... um. There might be like some sort of patch that comes out. Obviously, we know that F1 2015 is going to have regular patches coming in, hopefully. So hopefully, this will be one of those patches. Maybe, you know, we've seen updates in the past. I believe in like F1 2012, there was like a huge patch after like five days of the game coming out to the handling model and stuff like that. So hopefully, we can see a patch later on down the line for PC, you know, this whole talking to engineer via the PC. And the, uh, I know there's going to be questions. Why, why can't they just use the headset on the PC? you know you, there are multiple headsets that work with PC why can't they use it like it does in the PS4 well the PS4 has like voice recognition technology in it you know you can plug in your headset on PS4 and say PlayStation play this game PlayStation play that game PlayStation go to home or something like that and it picks it up via the voice recognition software it's got built in and I think they're going to use this software for the PS4 and then for the Xbox the reason you can't use a headset on the Xbox is because the Xbox purely uses the voice recognition through the Connect. That's why at the moment, for me personally, I don't have a Connect with my Xbox. I just have the Xbox, so I won't be able to use this feature unless I go out and buy a Connect. So that might be the case for some of you guys as well who maybe got the Xbox down the line uh, when they started shipping it minus the Connect in the box. Um, so if you want to use those features, you're going to have to go out and get a Connect, or you just won't use them. Trust me, though, guys. In my opinion, don't bother spending money on getting like a Connect to do it. I really think that this might just be sort of something everyone uses for a month 
or even less and then stops using that feature. But that's just my kind of guess. You know, I never know. You know, it might be like a huge hit. It might actually work quite well. Uh, we haven't really read too much about how it, um, you know, how it actually works out with you using your voice uh, stuff in any articles from like that German preview event or whatnot. And in terms of how it actually works, in terms of how you're going to talk to your engineer, in terms of what phrases you might have to use, this is entirely guesswork. The stuff I've just said is actual fact that we know that it's going to be in the consoles and not on the PC. This is just guesswork from how I've seen other voice recognition stuff work on the consoles. So usually on the PlayStation and Xbox, you have to use buzzwords like Xbox and then something. So Xbox Home, Xbox Record That, or Xbox Something Else, or PlayStation, you have to go PlayStation Home, PlayStation Play FIFA, PlayStation Play That Game, or whatever. So I'm guessing you might have to use buzzwords. Like they might tell you a tutorial at the beginning of the game, maybe when you start career mode about tutorials of what buzzwords to use. So it might be like tire wear or tires or fuel. So whatever sentence you say, you might have to make sure you have fuel and then, you know, like how much fuel I have. So that might be like a phrase it picks up. How much fuel do I have left? And that might get picked up. And in terms of languages, guys, if you're not from the UK or you don't speak English in your home country, uh, it is they've recorded fully, you know, the engineer voice recognition to work with a whole list of languages. The actual list of languages, I'm not too quite sure on. You can go check the website. I'm pretty sure that somewhere they may have a list of languages or I'm guessing whatever language, if you're, if the game comes in your language, if like the menus and everything come in your language, then it's pretty much a guarantee that probably they've, they've recorded voice recognition for your language. And in terms of accents as well, I know from the UK, obviously here in the UK, we have very many different accents. Um, I remember one of the sound engineers on Twitter uh, that works for Codemasters saying that they have worked on, you know, making sure that all sort of accents get picked up in the voice recognition. So if you do have like a maybe a thicker accent that you, you're worried might not get picked up, you know, sometimes we've had horror stories of the Xbox One not being able to pick up certain accents, um, even when you just say Xbox Home or whatever. So if you're worried about that, they apparently have worked quite hard in trying to make that work. So that's how the kind of uh, pit engineer is going to work. And that's pretty much all I know so far from reading my articles and just little into intuitive guesswork in terms of the key phrasing and whatnot. And finally, just before I go, guys, on yesterday's video, I talked about the co-op and about there probably not being a co-op. And I said I was 95% sure and that maybe I might be proven wrong and I want to sort of be proven wrong because it would be quite easy to have a co-op mode instead of having to do a custom one. Well, some of you guys commented below that there was an achievement for uh, what I looked it up. And basically the achievement was, the achievement said, uh, gain 100 points in an online championship. Now, I don't know if that exactly means co-op, but, um, you know, if we hark back to F1 2010, they had something like that where you could do, like, an online championship. But at the same time, they've also got achievements uh, on the F1 2015 Xbox achievement list. Some of the achievements say, win a race in a standard hopper, like hopper, H-O-P-P-E-R, standard hopper or extreme hopper. So I have no clue what on earth a hopper is. But it seems like they might have rejigged how online works quite a bit there because just I just I can't fathom what the hell a hopper means. But it looks like they might have rejigged it. So maybe this online championship's got something to do with the hoppers. Um, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I just have no clue. It's just guesswork, really, about maybe if like a hopper gives you extreme hopper gives you more points or something. I don't even know. But there is a slight chance they might have co-op, but they might have just rebranded it as online championship. If there is, then that's brilliant, and I'll retract my statement from yesterday's video. If there isn't, well, that's still a little bit annoying, but. Actually, from yesterday's video, a lot of you guys commented below saying that actually wasn't a big deal. Most of you guys said, I don't really use co-op. I just race online against other people. So really, that doesn't seem like maybe too much of a big deal. But some of you, again, on the flip side, some of you did say you wanted to use co-op. And that was a bit of an issue that you had to do it custom way. But yeah, the weird kind of online kind of standard hopper, extreme hopper, that's all there. I'll leave a link to the achievement list so you can look at it. But yeah, very, very weird. If you guys have any guesses of what the hoppers mean, then do by all means tell me below. And tell me what you guys think about the pit, like pit engineer. If you're on the PC, are you very annoyed about that? Or do you sort of, you know, maybe see it might be a gimmick or uh, do you think there'll be a patch? I, for one, do think there might be a patch later on down the line for it to be patched into the PC version. But we'll see. But as I said many times in this video, I do think it might be a thing that people use only for a month and then go away. But um, yeah, comment below all that good stuff for your opinions. That's what this video is for, just to tell you the information and kind of give you my opinions and kind of intuitive guesses about this stuff and then hearing your uh, opinions and feedback in the comments. If you, did if you did find this video informative and enjoyed it, then do leave a like, guys. Again, comment below. Subscribe if you're around here for daily Formula 1 content. I have been Ever. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.